and the, the whole spirit of the time was emerging. It was becoming a, uh, it, it was a new thing. We knew it was new. We knew we were into something that was different. And uh, that enthusiasm spread and uh, worked with everyone who came. He had a great ambition to create a good furniture company and produce good furniture. And uh, I think he was slightly in competition with his family because the Noel family in Germany were all furniture manufacturers. And particularly, his father was. And I think he wanted to, to better them all. There was only one thing, there was the dull the dull uh, olive green metal furniture with pig legs. Everything was so bad, it was very easy to improve on it. Hans did not know how to design my office, so he called upon me to do it. But it was a small, small company, and we knew everybody in Long Island City. We were on a first-name basis with everyone. It was all sort of amusing and fun because everybody got in the spirit of what we were trying to do. Things were difficult, and they knew it, but they were all willing to try. We even had a celebration when we bought our first delivery truck for New York City. It was a great big truck, and uh, I asked Herbert Matter to design the truck. And I had one requirement that when the no was on the side, I wanted it over the top of the truck so the people looking down from their windows in New York would see our name. And um, no one else did that, but I figured, why not? There's, there's a perfectly good place to show it. Dick Schultz came to see me one day, and he brought me some sketches that had nothing to do with, with furniture. And I gave him a job because I just had the feeling that he was a good designer. And that's how he started. Yes, I think that people felt it was a special place to be because there was a spirit going on. It was ex experimental and everyone was in on what was going on. If we were doing something new in upholstery, we would go out and work with the upholsterers and tell them why we wanted to do it. And then we asked their ideas because sometimes their, their ideas were far better than ours. And there was an enthusiasm to make it better. And, and in the production of things, uh, the, the uh, men in the factory were very good at making suggestions of how to do it in a less expensive way, a quicker way, so forth. And I think that, that there, the sense of pride came from, from the inner spirit of the group. I have never experienced a good design that did not sell well. And good design in interiors meant a happy client. And one happy client led to another happy client. Really, there hadn't been much thought given to serious planning. Uh, mo a lot of this work was done by a, a purchasing agent who would get out a catalog and say, well, we need so many desks, we need so many of this, without knowing why they needed them or where they were going to go. We really created a, a whole new business of you know, space planning.
research, uh, of course, was something I always did because I had to understand the problem. And I like to do it on a one-on-one -on -one basis and not rely on reports. We had to think those things out and that resulted in innovation. But at the same time, there was a serious reason for doing it. It wasn't, oh, I'm going to design something today. It didn't work that way. We never produced anything unless we knew what it was for. To be successful with a client is to, first of all, to know what you're doing yourself and be satisfied yourself that you've done the right thing, and then to show it to the client in such a way that the client understands it. Just looking at a blueprint for most clients does not work. I think that the communication with the client is of absolute importance. And it's, it's important to know the client, to understand his problems, and if he doesn't know it or she doesn't understand the problem, to teach them what the problem is. The biggest challenge in corporate work uh, today is the problem of wiring. Because with all of the computers and electronics and so forth, where, where the wiring goes and, and how one, one uh, eliminates it from view is, is a challenge. Clarity, honesty, learning what the problem is. Is, is, is very essential. Instead of just saying, I'm going to design this or that without really knowing why you're doing it is um, pretty important. My greatest contribution to design as a design director of Noel for my period of 20 years was that Noel was synonymous with good design. I think that Noel became successful because Noel was unique. Because it wasn't just a furniture manufacturing company. 